serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network. He's in their home and in the community. Hi, this is Chatterbox, the radio voice for the Texas Southern Fighting Tigers. Whenever I'm in Greenwood or anywhere close, I have to go to the Crystal Grill to get the best food in the South. Better yet, the Delta. Thank you so much. Mm, mm, mm. It's the fourth quarter. Fourth down, no timeouts. What do you do? You go to the only crew that makes it happen. I'm talking about the go-to crew, the MVPs of the community. Also, thank you for supporting GWoodLive.com. Streaming, streaming, and more streaming. Top quality video, GWoodLive.com. But don't forget the G-Live. I'm Gerald McRain. Is there anything you wouldn't do to live longer or feel better? Just make a few simple changes in your lifestyle and you knew it could save your life? Take cholesterol. A high blood cholesterol level can cause strokes and serious heart disease. But exercise and simple changes in your diet can reduce cholesterol and make you feel better. For your free book, visit the Will Rogers Institute at www.institute.org or call toll free 877-957-7575 and find us on Facebook and Twitter. The Will Rogers Institute since 1936. The Crystal Grill has been a dining tradition in the Delta for more than 50 years. This unusual restaurant is located downtown Greenwood in a building which is listed in the historic register. Come join us for a dining experience beginning with a mind-boggling lunch menu of home-cooked meats and fresh vegetables. An ending with a dinner selection that includes everything from fresh seafood and short cuts of beef, fresh home-made desserts. Our goal is to continue to provide good food at reasonable prices. Open Tuesdays and Sundays, 10.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call in numbers 453-6530, or you can pick it up at Short Ministry, Calvin Avenue, in Strangewood. Call in for the Will Rogers Institute. We all want to lose weight. At some point, everybody wants to lose a few pounds. But clothes like these are often just too good to be true. So be careful when choosing a diet. Before you start a weight loss plan, please talk to your doctor and do your homework. For your brief look at the Will Rogers Institute, and find us on Facebook and Twitter. The Will Rogers Institute since 1936. So first of all, I, I want to share our mission. This is why we exist. The mission of the Greenwood LaFleur Consolidated School District is to unify. And when we talk about unify, we're, we're not only talking about unifying the district as a whole, but coming together as a community. Um, we, second part of our mission is to educate. This is why we're here. Not only to educate our, our students, the boys and girls in the district, but also to educate one another, the community working together with the schools to uh, prepare our kids. And that is the final part of our mission is to prepare our students for college and career because we do know that, you know, not all students will enter um, college. Some may go to the Army or the Navy. Some may go right into the workforce. But it's our job and our goal as educators and the community to prepare our students for college and career. And we do that by providing a high-quality learning experience. You know, it's just a losing proposition. It's impossible, and I don't care who you are, it's impossible to text and drive safely. You just can't do it. We've implemented an early release Wednesday to build teacher, faculty, staff, administrative capacity. I know a lot of parents uh, know that the students get out at 2.45 each Wednesday. And our reason for that is because we are a, a new district, we want to make sure that we all are on the same page, providing the professional development across the district so that all of us are working um, together, planning together, uh, meeting together to prepare for our students. So on Wednesday, we meet as a district at the district level and the school level to plan for our students. Every fourth Wednesday of the month, we set aside that hour from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock at the parent-teacher conference time so that if parents are able to come out from 3 to 4 to meet with the administrators or the teachers, the counselors, or whomever, they can come to the school and that's uninterrupted time with the parents in addition to scheduling parent-teacher conferences. I'm Eric Hill, former office and title for the Greenwood High School Bulldog, class of 19, thank you, no Bulldog. <laughs> Oh, 
one day, I'll teach chemistry to kids. I'm going to be an architect. My dream is to be a chef. This is a world of possibilities. A world in which people who put their minds to something can really make a difference. My goal is to help the environment. Someday I'll find a cure for cancer. At the U.S. Department of Education's Office of Federal Student Aid, we believe that aspiring minds can achieve anything. But we dedicate ourselves to making sure everyone has an opportunity to go to college. Each year, we provide more than $150 billion in grants, loans, and work-study funds, making higher education possible for anyone at any stage of life. I can go back to college. I can change careers. I can make a difference. Federal Student Aid, proud sponsor of the American Mind. Learn more about money for college at studentaid.gov. The vision of our district, this is what we want to see. We want to see a uh, community united, the community coming together to improve the quality of life through education. And we all know that the only way we can improve the quality of life is through education. So this is why we're here. We're trying to improve the quality of our students' lives because they are our future, which goes into the district's focus. Our focus is to invest in our future by developing every student. We all know that the students are our future. And this basketball game is on the way. The ball is tapped up and controlled by Mr. Kippy Dollar State. Out top of the ball in the left wing. Sitting down inside. It's going to be deflecting. Lost, stolen. Here comes Murray State at the floor from uh, left to right. Out top is Curly. And she's going to send the basketball over. And that is it with the basketball. No mistake. Lady Rates is. In their blue and gold uniform, Dallas State, in the all white, green numbers, with red pants. And I'm working with the full from left to right. Cotton. Uh, top left side, Cotton gets the pants over down inside. Up and under with a nice move. Score of that bucket. Right. I'm going to ranch with the bucket. First two points in the ballgame. It was nice up and under. Right back down the state, though. The lady raised his left side. Come to the face. Come to shot it up. And it's a foul in the three point area, so we have three free throws been shot here. The foul was called on Smith. Smith picks up first personal foul, first team foul. 9-14 to play in the first quarter. Two nothing scores. Need a race to foul line for a couple of free throws here. I said a couple is going to be three, actually. With the cold sneakers. Takes it. Spin, send it up. Good rotation. Kicked out on her. And she gets another throw. Shooting the basket to our right. Takes it. Spins it. Triples in. Right hand shot is up to good for him. Is up. This time is good. And she gets another throw. Take that time again. It's Turley. This the first one. Second one is up. And it's good. So she's two of three. And we have a top ball game. Trying to sit the ball back down the floor. Back in the way. And the tenant back outside to Cotton. Cotton on the point. Cotton stops, stops the three. Got it. And she goes up. And then a Cotton for Beckett. Yeah. Got to see the next five points to the board. It's a five to score. And the lady race says we'll ask for and we'll put for this up. Not a timeout. It's going to be a sub. And check it on the floor. It's Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Lisa Hawthorne, Junior. From Fort West Texas on the floor. Got it to the basketball. Smith with it. Deep left wing. Smith. Trying to get inside. He's a leader. No good. And she was fouled. She got that ball in the tank. On a much taller player, Terry Lee. And she was fouled. That foul was caught on Lisa Hawthorne. Hawthorne picks up her first personal foul. And the first pink foul. 
Eight thirty eight to play. Shot is up, too strong, no good. She gets another throw. The singer from Dallas, Texas. Uh, Sebastian sent it up. One of two at the strike. And that is the leading by four points, six to two. Back on the floor. Is it out top straight away? A.C. Gibson jump shot, no. Rebound, put back up inside. The Hawk going, no. Lady Rachel with the ball again. And walking to basketball, the Lady Rachel was Macy Gibson. Gibson caught the ball on top of it. She walked with it. They did it, took two minute steps. So now let's say we get the basketball. Third, five, four, eight, turn to play in the second quarter. In the first quarter, rather. Smith with it. Dolls pass right down to the floor. With the return pass back out top to Rags. Throw it down inside. And the shot is up by Smith. Spence on the basket by Nilo Smith. Later, Race is going to get that rebound and run that ball up the floor. Here comes the Guerrero. 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 Gets it right back to Gibson. He shoots it up. One bounce off the rim. No good. Later, Race will get that rebound and got a jump ball here. On that floor was Grippo, and you got to stay restand and lock that ball up. The possession arrow go to Murray State. Baseline right side, down by four. Looking in the right corner, can't go. And wide open underneath the basket with Gibson, she puts it up with two. And we have a two point ball game. Six four, the other state, the ball. And White. Hit the left side of the floor. To Rag. Rag out to Nilo Smith. Smith to Cotton. Cotton to an overhead fan. Out, out to Sydney Ward. Ward caught that ball, couldn't quite stop. She walked to the turnover on Mississippi Valley. The lady races with the ball to the floor front court. Turley. High post, Gibson. Out top, made three point shot. No, not a rebound from Dallas State. Here comes Cotton from right to left. Down in the paint. Keep it outside. Three point shot is up. By Smith, got it to three. Every Smith, the three point bracket. And a quick shot. The later races. No good. Rebounds and he's the floor. And she'll be locked up there. Jump ball. Dallas State should get those in there. It's six, four, eight, and three dollars out in front by five, nine to four. Picking out, Old Valley State is Diamond Rags. Checking in is Taylor Robinson, a 5'10 freshman from Memphis, Tennessee, White Station High School. Cotton. Did he cross over? Couldn't quite get past, keeping out top. Thought about the shot, won't shoot. She picked the dribble up. Look at the hand. To Smith, Smith missed it. Right back to Cotton. Cotton working one on one. Miss Ripples, down inside to Smith. And that's going to reach in foul. And Zyla Smith, so good for so far, has improved in, in the post. That foul is called on a Macy Turley. Turley has her first personal foul. Team foul on a two. And the foul is called on the floor. I don't think it's a shooting foul. Foul call on the floor. So down the state, she gets the basketball. There's 6.27 to play. The fish going to come over to the scores table. We check that and see what's going on. Don't know. Down the state gets the basketball. Base now left side of the backboard. Riley Williams to trigger the ball. Zone defense by the lady racing. Looks like now down it. In fact, I'm going to turn that ball over. Sitting there was a dripple. Dripple down the floor. Here's the left side to Mays. Mays. Sends it back out of top. Three point shot up. Counting for Macy Turley. Turley is just a three point bracket. There's a timeout on the floor. And with that timeout, we'll take one as well. You listen to Mr. Philadelphia basketball on the GU Live radio. We have a two point ball game. Lady Racers out in front. Benefit out in front by two nine to seven. 
the Lord County Tigers have had an excellent week to get ready for the first round of the Class 1A playoffs. And this week, the Sebastian Pool Bobcats, I'm calling the Interfeeder Mississippi. You heard me right. The Lord County Tigers will host the Sebastian Pool Bobcats this Friday night at Singleton Field on the campus of the Lord County High School in Interfeeder Mississippi. And if you can't make it to the big game this Friday night, you can listen to all of the live play-by-play action on 101.9 FFWGRM. It's the Bobcat of the best of pool high school. And join the Fort County Tigers high school football action. Class 1A first round this Friday night. Take off at 7 p.m. Don't you get this. <laughs> And welcome back. He's Alice Bill gets the basketball coming out of the timeout. Comes Ryan Williams up the floor. Then two on the right. Williams out top. On the left wing. Pins it. Across the floor. Darkus. Inside. With the pass. Goes to Gamma Rag. Side of up. It's good. And uh, there will be a missed shot by the lady who raises Dickham Valley State back up the floor. Williams stops it dribble on the left elbow. Williams kicks across the floor. Across the floor, rag. Back outside to Ronnie Williams. Williams stays on the dribble, 14 to shoot. Got to stay up by 4, 11 to 7. Here's Ronnie Williams on the left wing. <laughs> Williams sends it out to Darkus. Darkus with the shot to the backboard. Rebound, pump, fake. And a foul is called in there getting a rebound for Mississippi Dallas State. There's a run in Williams. A foul is called on Gibson. Next to Gibson with the foul. First personal, 13 foul. And going to the foul lap for a couple of shots. It's Diamond rag. Little troubles on the basket. Shot is up short. And she gets one more. Does diamond rag. Rag. Five ten junior. Takes it. Shot is on its way. Good. One of two at the foul line. Rag. And Dallas State is up by five, 12 but seven. Jump shot by Matt no grip. Rebound by Rags. Up the floor, Grindy Williams, left wing. Stops. And the ball's going to be stripped. Taken away by Turlers. Long pass down the floor. Got to say, got back on defense. And knock that, that ball's going to go out of bounds. <laughs> Twelve seven score, four fifty two to play. First quarter action. From Rags to Williams. Here's an Ohio. Now how to drop it. Down inside. Post player shot up there. It's gonna be short by Azaria Howitz. The center six two junior from Richmond, Mississippi. Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College. Thirty-six to play. Now let's say basketball. Inside, through the jump shot. No, good on the follow-up by Jarkus. Rebound. Northern State. Mays. Mays stops on the right wing. Pitch pass across the floor. Four side. Charlie. Jump shot to three counted. Charlie with the shot. In a two-point ball game. And that ball's going out of bounds. Deflected. Uh, but it's out of bounds on Dallas State. Deflected by the Kenya Mack. But it's out of bounds on Azalea Howard of Dallas State. And it's a two-point ball game. 12-10, Dallas State up by two. 
They come to Murray State to throw from left to right. Outside, Charlie. Charlie. Read the ball to fucking throw to Mac. Mac. Pop the one. Shot. Up. Count it. Back. Pop the one. Pop the one. With the bracket. Career, career score. First time in the ball game. The challenge on the up this by Valley State on the rebound was late to Hawthorne. Hawthorne's front court. Hawthorne's to the first time. With a shot by Mays, air ball. Valley State gets the basketball. Going to Williams get that ball. And the foul is called on uh, Sadie Fields. Fields with the foul. First foul on heel. Fourth team foul. Gotta stay. Just fall. Clear point. Clear clear score. Right away, we'll touch up off the floor. Leaves it left side to sit there. Ward. Ward. Sends it on high to Robertson. Robertson that. Lost the ball. Picked up by the Lady Racers. Heel. Now on the floor to her. Here's a corner jump shot. Left corner for three. Counting for Lex Mays. And the three-point lead for Murray State, 15 to 12. 255 to play in the first quarter. Ronnie Williams in the corner. Williams throws it inside. And here's a pass outside right wing. Air ball shot by Sidney Ward. Later, race going to push the ball back at the floor. Here comes Charlie. Jump shot for three. No good. Rebound. Trying to wait for some other state. She pushed that ball from right to left. The crossover. Trying to get to the rack. Shot of left. Missed it. And uh, trying to put it back up again. Missed shot by Howard. Murray State. Nice pass down inside. Double pump. Scored the bracket by Purple. Purple. He's probably going to get a third back in the bargain. Checking back in is Ayana Clyden on the next opportunity. Also, Spencer checked back in. High point lead. 17 to 12. Two minutes to play first quarter. Here's Ryder Williams. Williams gives it up to Spencer Ward. Ward down inside, miss shot. But there's a putback on the right side on the miss shot by Azaria Howard. Howard, the two center, with the record. First two points to the ball game. But right back down the floor again was Lake the Hawthorne. She has four. Five point ball game, 19 to 14, 133 play. Now top to Robinson. Robinson. To Ward for the jump shot. No good. Rebound. Baby Hill. Hill looking to the floor. Hill. To Charlie. Three point shots. Two, no good. By Mays. Rebound by Dolly. Dolly going to push it. Ryan Williams inside. He's going to get fouled. She throws it all the way. Now, if I was called on um, Lex May, May picked up her first personal foul. Substitution again. Chicken in for Mitchell City Valley would be Cotton. But I think she's going to get Ronnie Williams to get the foul line. How would we check out of the ball game? 19 score. One minute, eight seconds to play. Here's the free throw. No good. Right away, Mr. Lyon couldn't make that free throw. She gets another one, though. Trying to pair it to a four point ball game. Right away, Williams. Shot is up. One for two for Williams. Now she'll check out. They race the back into the front court. Nick Wing, Turley. Turley cut off. To get outside for Gibson for the three, and it's good. Gibson, a 6 one red shirt freshman from Boone, Bill, Kentucky, like that outside shot. She has five points in the ball game. Seven point lead for Morris State. Right wing, Darkus. Darkus, the Cotton. Cotton, the Darkus. Right corner. Walking violation call on Dallas State. Shelly Dick, he got the ball. She picked her right, cut it back inside, so she 
throughout the basketball. 31.6 seconds to play first quarter. That's the throw from left to right front court. And the square four, the one second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Makes Mays yo yo the basketball. Makes it makes the Charlie on the yo yo. It's eight seconds. Charlie. The cross of the Charlie's test back. Gets picked up. She's trying to get inside. Ball is knocked away, but a reach in foul is called. Foul is called on the floor. It's Aaron Smith with the foul. Smith picks up a second foul. To 22. The foul's called on the floor, I thought. I thought he said on the floor. They're going to confer. They're going to give him two shots instead. She got fouled one second on the shot clock. This Shirley. Shirley. And the basket shot a good and good. Get you back. Takes the attack. There's a conversation going off. Okay. I'm going to put 2.2 is the one second on the shot clock, but 2.2 to go in the first quarter. 23 still free throws. Free throws up. Good. Mm. And a nine point ball game now. 24 15. They got to stay stepped out of bounds. So it's going to be point three to play, and Murray State get their basketball in the front court on the first side. Third by nine. To throw it in is Alexis Burpo. Burpo. Scatch it, looking in for the scramble. It's a catch and shoot. It's up, and we're not count had it gone. That's going to bring us to the... Close the first quarter with the score, 24, Murray State, and 15 for Mr. 50, Dallas State. We break. We come back. This is Valley Basketball. Stay with us. Back in a minute. Welcome to the highest in the American Celtic Pension to see their winning way in state create playoff as they knock off at the high school this past Friday night at Picky Field of the Campus of Amanda Elder. And this week, the Pants of Amanda Elder picked the road for another cat fight this time in the form of the Independent High School Wildcats. You heard me right. This Friday night, our highways, byways, shortcuts, and intersections lead to Independent High and a date with the Independent Wildcats. And if you can't make the Independent this Friday night this Christmas, you can listen to all of the live play-by-play action right here on 93.9 FM WGRM with the man Tracy Harris and the Wildcats of Independent High School. And you're a Matthew L. Defender. It's the second round of State 3 a playoff this Friday night. 7 o'clock kickoff to make it so business to be there. <laughs> Twenty-four, fifteen schools out of state. Trilly. And Cotton, Cotton half holes inside for the soft left hand shot. Show the tip in for two. Six in with the record. And while effective. Twenty-four, seventeen score nine points. Make that a seven point ball game. And they're running kind of a weave at the top now. Hawthorne, Hawthorne gets it up to Worley. Worley in the corner to Gibson. Gibson fires it up. No. Rebound, Dallas on the push. Smith down the floor. And it's a nice move for the layup by Diamond Rag for two. Two switch points there. And the lady races the last four and will receive a talent. I don't want to talk about it here. It's a 5.4 and 24.19 dollars state. Trevor, you're quick to come back. Valley basketball. <laughs> Well, he's going to play Gatewood and the Greenwood Bulldogs. Hello, business. Round number 
one of the state for a playoff, and now it's on to the next one. We get the power of the Bulldogs, and since you already Bulldogs, come to Bulldog Stadium in Greenwood, Mississippi, on the campus of Greenwood High School. You heard me right. It's round two of the state for a playoff with the Greenwood Bulldogs, hosted the New Orleans Bulldogs at 7 o'clock p.m. this Friday night. If you can't make it to Greenwood, you can listen to all of the live play by play action on 1013 FM, the Bulldogs Sports Network, with the Chief Hall, with the Gibson, and Sideline Reporting with Jonathan Hopkins. It's the Bulldogs of New Orleans High School and your Greenwood High School. This Friday night, second round of 4 a playoff to make it so business. <laughs> Twenty-four, nineteen, four. Dallas State, Trillin. They the race with the basketball. And the players with the ball game. Jitris, Worley, Worley. And offensive foul call on the Shading Hill. Hill to pick up the foul. Hill picked the first personal foul. Or is it the second? It's their second on Shading Hill. Got to pick the basketball, trying to catch the five point lead. You feel the football ballot state as well. There's a injury of stiff, S T I T T stiff. And it all high to 16. Skip pass to war. Ward in right corner. Check out Dr. Fitz. Fitz takes right. Change your left side. Put again a walking violation. Late future for the play. Second quarter. Here's Murray State. Murray State kicked it out top. Upper circle maze. Maze right side to Worley. Worley behind the screen by Gibson. Worley still driving. Worley sends it out high to Sadie. Jump shot, Sadie here. It's an air ball. Got to take the rebound. Up the floor from the push. Cotton. Cotton. Left the ball. Came back to get it. Cotton in the corner. Long grain jumper off the rim. And here comes Murray State back on the floor. That's Otto one. Otto one sends it out high to Worley. Worley bags away from the defense. Oh, shit. Well, let's get right with her behind the screen. Mr. the right side of the floor trying to get inside. Hot on. Hot the shot. No good. But the rebound was an air ball caught by Gibson. He puts the ball right back up for the score. And she had seven points in the ball game. Got her down by seven. And here's a double pump. Left hand shot. Nice move. Skin move. And 16. 16 has four points in the ball game. Got her down by five. Offensive foul call. Uh, Lacey Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Pick the foul. Hawthorne picks the first, second foul. He has two fouls. Alice Day will get the basketball. Again, Shelly kicks in. Uh, forward was 5'10. He tosses the ball in. And it's a cut. Cut on the point. Cut. Good to dribble. Left hand dribble. Third second to shoot, no issue there. Five times three, four, nine, seven, the shot. Throws it down inside. Here's a tough shot. Five, six, and again, six, and five, ten, post there, but she played bigger than that tonight. It was a three point ball game, 26, Murray State, 23, Dallas State, 7, 13 to play. Here's 15, 15. 15. Hot Jump shot, no. Rebound, Valley going after that was Rag. Rag sends it across the floor to War. Four, trying to get inside. Comes down inside again. Inside. Grant. Grant puts it up to two. And Dallas State. Smaller team, but going inside on this large team. Back on the floor is Griffo. Griffo walks with the basketball. And Dallas State has just erased the nine point lead down to a one point ball game. 26 25. Dallas State leading by one. Checking out for a breather for Valley. It would be Diamond Rags. Rags would check out. Also check out is uh, Andrew Stick. Good minute. Here comes Cotton back on the floor. Cotton goes to the right side with the dribble behind the three-four line. Comes back to the left side. Stops. 
saves the dribble now. Trying to set something up, 16 seconds. Second trying to get inside, but that only six in. Shot spins off. Rebound. Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Up ahead. Twirlers. Charlie. Hawthorne. Hawthorne. To Charlie. Charlie picks it by Cox. Down the screen. Long range shot off the rim. No by Worley. Put it back again. No by Brimpo. Rebound by Valley. Stick thing. Stick thing. Try to get inside. And the ball is deflected out of bounds. But she put down a nice move that time. And that'd be 26 25 score down the state. Trailing by one with 5.56 to play. Reagan Blackburn will check in. Or is that, yeah, Reagan, Reagan Blackburn will check in. A 5 8 sophomore guard from Greenville, Kentucky. With the ball, pump moves, power moves, too. By 16, 16, and 5 10 junior from Wilder, Texas. They have 8 points in the ball game. And Dallas up by one. 27, 26, with 5 4 to play. And it's up to you, then. Mays, Mays, trying to get the pass inside. He did, and trying to get in position was uh, China Sawyer. He just checked into the ball game now from London, England. She's checked in to Dallas Stadium. She's going to pick up the foul. Baseline, left side of the backboard. They get the right side of the backboard. Morris stayed with inbound. She has sacked this all the way across the lane. Now they're going to go into their motion. Fans the right side of the floor to Blackburn. Shot it up. No ball is out of bounds. Fighting inside the floor was Lacey Gibson for Murray State. And for Valor, it was Rag out of bounds on Murray State. And Valor gets the basketball. And back of the floor they go for the one point lead. 27 26. Left wing. Skipping <laughs> Cotton. Cotton throws it inside to Sargis. Sargis caught the ball and she was two foot underneath the basket. She was going to get to the shot, but she looked up and she was two foot underneath the basket. And it is a turnover on Valley State. 27 26 score. Blackburn. Blackburn Raven. Blackburn. Thanks to she walks. Turnover. And Dallas gets the basketball, checking out for Dallas State. But stick team. Back on the floor for Dallas State is Milo Smith. He has some good minutes in the ballgame. Inside, up and under. Jump shot. For a rag. Score a rag. And looks like he never punched in the ballgame. Let's see another foul call as Shirley was driving in to his fouls. Foul on Cod for the other state. Cod picks the very first personal foul. First day basketball baseline left side. Into Hawthorne. Hawthorne to Blackburn. Hawthorne back to the basket on Smith. Shot flips. Got it. Nice move that time for Hawthorne. Two turn square. Shut that ball off the glass. She has six points to the ball game. Back down the floor. Smith. Been looking for help. Smith. To the left side in the ball game of Valley State now is Natalie Reddy. Do they call it Reddy or do they call it Reedy? It's going to be Reddy, R E A D Y. Reedy, R E D Y. It's Cotton. Eight seconds to shoot. Puts it inside to Smith. They're trying to pass to Smith. Can be lost. And Murray State going to push up the floor. Down right side, open for the shot. No good. By Blackburn, rebound by Dallas State, two on one, brief left, and side to left, no, ball knocked around, with it, turn right shot up, no, missed the back up, no, and she was fouled. And she'll get to the strike for free throw. Foul call on Macy Gibson. Her first personal foul, or the yeah, second personal foul. Checking in for Valor is Sydney Ward. And also checking in is Ronnie Williams. Checking in for 
murder state author will check out and the key of Mac will check out. Two throws coming up for Nilo Smith. 29, 28, scored out of the by one. Free throws up, steal by one. Nick gets another throw. The thing is, from um, Nick's Tennessee, Three forty-four. Free throws up. No good. Rebound. Gibson. Gives it out high to Hunter. She won't shoot. Gives it to Turley. Turley on the point. Free throw three. Play in the first half. Turley looking for a screen. Stops a dribble. Looking. Brings it right back. She gets it right back to the Turley. They want the ball in Turley's hand. Trying to get inside Turley with the layup. No good. Rebound put back up, and a foul is called on uh, Mississippi Valley, Sydney Ward. Ward picks up a first personal foul. And that'll give the six foot senior from Albany, Georgia, Shakira Mack to the foul line. She'll be shooting free throws. Yes, too. And she got the ball the first time, put it up, she couldn't get it. Second time, got to put it up off the glass for the foul. First three throws up, and good. She gets one more throw. The key, yeah, uh, Matt. Well, basketball, that's tomorrow night. High school basketball. Three throws up, no good. One for two at the foul line. She had one point in the ball game. Got to fit the ball back at the floor. Ronnie Williams. The throw, six to play. And the first half. Andre Williams, please the last shot of the floor to Milo Smith. Smith to Smith, Aaron Smith. Smith square with the shot. Got it. Four nice shot that time by Smith. She squared and shot that ball up over Greco. I'm sorry, it was Dawkins with the shot. Dawkins. Angela, Angela Dawkins with the shot. My mistake. Here's a three-point shot by Kipson. It's still good. Rebound by Mississippi Valley down the floor. to sitting in the ward. Ward down inside to Smith and trying to get the pass out to Dawkins in the right corner. But she's going to throw it too tall. Thirty-one twenty-nine score. Another step the ball left wing. Outside to Gibson. Gibson to Griffo. And opposite foul call. And Wall was going to get that foul. That foul's called on Griffo. It's her first personal foul. To the football coaches and some players should have chilled. Should have been able to stay on. Two point ball game. From right to left. Williams. Williams with the dribble out top. 21 seconds on the shot clock. Two minutes to play. Williams with the shot off the glass. No. Rebound. Valor. 15. This is shot. Off the board comes Lex Mays. Mays. And here's the jump shot the foul line by Mack, and it's good. Mack has three points in the ball game. And we tied at 31 apiece. 31 31 score. The minute 34 to play. Down inside. Loose ball. Turnover on Dallas State. 31 31 score. My court to Griffo. Griffo. Turner. Turner picked up by Ronnie Williams to the timeline. Behind the back dribble is Turley behind a screen now. He kicked the left out of the floor. The maintenance for the shot. No good. Air ball. Rebound. Mississippi Dollar State becomes Sydney Ward at the floor from right to left. Ward behind the three point line stops. Ward leaves an outside. Williams. My name is Williams. The 5 6 sophomore from Mixed in the on the left wing. Very to shoot. 49 to play in the first half. My name is Williams. On Turley. Throws it inside. Second right. Ninth move inside. Side is up. She knocked to the floor. It is 15. 15. That's the move. And she was foul. That foul was called on Shakira Matt. 
with their first personal foul. 40 seconds, 40.1 seconds to play. Checking out of the volume of Sidney Ward. Checking on the Dallas City's Aaron Smith. Now, Coach Smith out. Nice Smith is in. Also in, Ayana Cotton. That's in shot of uh, Smith, no good. Hit that uh, big pin, no good. Big pin gets no shot. She's at the foul line for the first time. Second one is up. It's there. She has nine points in the game, the six pin, and that is up by one, 32 31. Charlie, this is the place she wants to run. Watch by Darkers. It's a screen. It's about thick thing. Out high, heel. Back to Charlie on the point. Foul call on Ronnie Williams. Running, uh, oh, Yenny and I, waiting to pick up a first personal foul. Cardinal oh, check out at the content. He's checking in to his Andrea Stick for Valley State. Murray State with the basketball baseline that left side of the backboard, down by one point, 32 31. In the right corner, wide open, is Drepo, shoots it for three, and it's good. Drepo has five points in the game. And got her down by two to nine seconds with the ball. Opportunity to get a shot off, Bonnie Williams. Hits for the basket, puts it up, blocked in the left corner, shot to flip at the buzzer. Okay, oh, that's going to bring the first half to a close. Yeah. Got to stay trailing by two. 34-32 is the score. 34-32 score. Got to stay trailing by nine. Oh, at the end of the first quarter, you're going to get a break in the action. You're going to come back. You're listening to Mr. Tippy Dallas Basketball on GU Live Radio. I am the Reaches Media. I'm a proud sponsor of Greenwood Football. Go for dogs! Celebrate your children. Celebrate your successes of those who are coming to school. Uh, for one example, I was over at the Floor County High School. They were having their Denizes Awards program. And I noticed a pattern of the students who were coming on stage. They had students who had made the superintendent's list, the principal's list, and the honor roll list. And the one thing that was common or uh, consistent throughout those students who were earning those awards, they were also receiving purchase attendance certificates. So parents, it, it is very important that we make sure that our kids come to school. We will celebrate them at the schools and in the district, but also just Celebrating them at home and in the community. Hi, this is the Chatterbox, the radio voice for the Texas Southern Fighting Tigers. Whenever I'm in Greenwood or anywhere close, I have to go to the Crystal Grill to get the best food in the South. Better yet, the Delta. Thank you so much. Mm, mm, mm. It's the fourth quarter. Fourth down, no timeouts. What do you do? You go to the only crew that makes it happen. I'm talking about the go-to crew, the MVPs of the community. Also, thank you for supporting GWoodLive.com. Streaming, streaming, and more streaming. Top quality video. GWoodLive.com. But don't forget the G-Live. Hi, I'm Gerald McBrain. Is there anything you wouldn't do to live longer or feel better? You make a few simple changes in your lifestyle and you do it can save your life? Take cholesterol. A high blood cholesterol level can cause strokes and serious heart disease. But exercise, simple changes in your diet can reduce cholesterol and make you feel better. For your free booklet, visit the Will Rogers Institute at www.institute.org or call toll free 877-957-7575 and find us on Facebook and Twitter. The Will Rogers Institute since 1936. The Pretzel Grill has been a dining tradition in the Delta for more than 50 years. This unusual restaurant is located downtown Greenwood in a building visited in the historic 
tell John for a dining and two to get into what they mind for his lunch menu, a home cooked dish, and fresh vegetables. And ending with a dinner selection that includes everything from the seafood and short cuts of beef, plus home made dessert. Our goal is to continue to provide good food at reasonable prices. Open to Tuesdays and Sundays, 10 30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call this number 453 6530, or you can pick it up at 423 Calvin Avenue in Springwood. For the real Rogers, it's the fifth. We all want to and lose weight. At some point, everybody wants to lose two pounds. But clothes like this are often just too good to be true. So be careful when she's going to die. Before you start a weight loss plan, please talk to your doctor and do your homework. For your free book, visit the Will Rogers Agency at www.fireinstitute.org or call to a free 877-957-7575 and find us on Facebook and Twitter. The Will Rogers Institute since 1936. So first of all, I, I want to share our mission. This is why we exist. The mission of the Great World of Florida Consolidated Food District is to unify. And when we talk about unifying, we're, we're not only talking about unifying the district as a whole, but coming together as a community. Um, the second part of our mission is to educate. This is why we're here. Not only to educate our, our students, the boys and girls in the district, but also to educate one another, the community working together with the schools to um, prepare our kids. And that is the final part of our mission is to prepare our students for college and career because we do know that, you know, not all students will enter um, college. Some may go to the Army or the Navy. Some may go right into the workforce. But it's our job and our goal as educators and the community to prepare our students for college and career. And we do that by providing a high-quality learning experience. You know, it's just a losing proposition. It's impossible, and I don't care who you are, it's impossible to text and drive safely. You just can't do it. We've implemented an early release Wednesday to build teacher, faculty, staff, administrative capacity. I know a lot of parents. Uh, know that the students get out at 2.45 each Wednesday. And our reason for that is because we are a, a new district, we want to make sure that we all are on the same page, providing the professional development across the district so that all of us are working uh, together, planning together, uh, leading together to prepare for our students. So on Wednesday, we meet as a district at the district level and the school level to plan for our students. Every fourth Wednesday of the month, we set aside that hour from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock at parent teacher conference time so that the parents are able to come out from 3 to 4 to meet with the administrators or the teachers, the counselors, or whomever. They can come to the school, and that's uninterrupted time with the parents in addition to scheduling parent-teacher conferences. I'm Eric Hill, former office of for the Greenwood High School Board of Class of 1990. Go One day, I'll teach chemistry to kids. I'm going to be an architect. My dream is to be a chef. This is a world of possibilities. A world in which people who put their minds to something can really make a difference. My goal is to help the environment. Someday I'll find a cure for cancer. At the U.S. Department of Education's Office of Federal Student Aid, we believe that aspiring minds can achieve anything. But we dedicate ourselves to making sure everyone has an opportunity to go to college. Each year, we provide more than $150 billion in grants, loans, and work-study funds, making higher education possible for anyone at any stage of life. I can go back to college. I can change careers. I can make a difference. Federal Student Aid, proud sponsor of the American Mind. Learn more about money for college at studentaid.gov. The vision of our district, this is what we want to see. We want to see a uh, community united, the community coming together to improve the quality of life through education. And we all know that the only way we can improve the quality of life through education. So this is why we're here. We're trying to improve the quality of our students' lives because they are our future, which goes into the district's focus.
God focused it to invest in our future by developing every student. We all know that the students are our future. Right now, they depend on us, and in a lot of ways, we depend on them. But in the future, we will depend more on them to lead this community and this world. HewlettLive.com is located in Greenwood, Mississippi, broadcasting original programs, community talks, local sports, high school and college sports, ministry and community information, music, and so much more. A station for the people, by the people. HewlettLive.com. This is Betty White. I know you don't need one more thing to worry about, but listen. High blood pressure can cause kidney disease, blind, heart attack, stroke. And you can have high blood pressure even if you feel all right. One in seven adults has it, but it's easy to get your blood pressure checked, and you can treat it if it is too high. So don't worry about it. Don't ignore it. Just see your doctor and check it out. For your free booklet, visit the Bulldog Institute at www.rxwitchit.org. Find us on Facebook and Twitter. This is the Chitbiel sending a shout-out to the Mount Daily Pathos class of 1989. Go Pathos! And welcome back. We're at the half. Six minutes and 17 seconds away from second half action. Real Estate is trailing by two points to the lower state. Lady Grace is Real Estate. Uh, Cole and Grace jumped out. And the race came back and took a lead. And matter of fact, they took a nine-point lead. And they're leading the ball game at the half. At the end of the first quarter by a score of 15 to 24-15. And Real Estate came back and took a lead. That the later races uh, came back, and right now they're leading that big by 34 to 32. This was Dancy uh, on the uh, teleconference on uh, on Monday, talking about Dallas State football uh, this week, and also grounding to be the opponent coming up. And you catch that ball game Saturday on G Live Outlet, as a matter of fact. Uh, Coach, if you could please just kind of recap your bye week uh, this past week with your program. Uh, just just it's the time that uh, last week just got out and got a head start on Grambling and um, had a few good practices, a few great days of practice, and was able to take you know get his weekend uh, with the guys, go home, visit the parents, and 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 uh, catch up on some football and and get right back to work on, on, on yesterday like we did. Coach, so, so obviously. Uh, Another big big weekend for you guys. You'll uh, host Grambling State, uh, a team that you know, as we saw last week, uh, you know, started off slow, has picked up momentum here late, uh, rolling off several victories in a row. Uh, from your perspective and your your vantage point with your program, uh, what do you look to see uh, this weekend against the Tigers, and how will you use a game like this to get the program that you know traditionally has been uh, so. Uh, dominant over the years. How will you use that type of uh, game to uh, be able to measure where you're at as a program? Uh, big, big time opponent. Um, uh, when you look at it, man, Coach Fobbs has done a magnificent job with that program. Um, she's taken over um, great coach, great coaches on his staff. Uh, and, our, and our team understands that. We understand what type of caliber team we're going against. Um, championship-style team, and I think we've been prepared for this team. You know, like I said last week, we did a great job of going out and working at, work, working on um, working on ourselves and, um, you know, get prepared to face a great team. But the motivation factor, you know, it's it's just playing Grambling in our team, and, and, and we know that. We know it's going to be a big game, and I think as long as, as long as we continue to prepare well, you know, like we've been doing, it's going to be a good matchup. But, uh, hats off to those guys, man. They, they've been doing a, a, a wonderful job over these past five weeks. You know, five game winning streak. So we know they're hot right now, and, they, and they're going to come in, you know, with a chip on their shoulder. And, and we, we just got to be able to um, withstand we, we, some of their blows and, and take this thing into the fourth quarter. So when you look at Grambling State offensively, obviously what they're able to do uh, behind center with that athleticism at hit bottom. Uh, just because what he can do not only throwing but also running the ball. What do you think you're going to need to do from a defensive perspective to be able to limit not only him but them offensively as a unit? Uh, I, th- I, th- I 
think it starts up front with those guys, and I think they do, do a great job up front on the offensive line and it be the physical up front. So I think we got to pressure those. We got we to gotta start out by trying to um, push the pocket, man. I think we got to get uh, hit the bottom off that, off that spot and try to make him move around a little bit. And I want to get him settled in. And he's a great runner as well. So we just got to try to, you know, um, keep him contained in the run game and, and, and try to create some pressure for him in the passing game. But not only him, but Charles Wright. And he, he came in and did a magnificent job against all corner. We we understand what he can, what he can do as a runner but as well as a thrower. So we got two quarterbacks that we're going to have to contain this weekend and, um, and, and play tough again. So, Jason, one of the aspects of the game that I'm really looking forward to seeing how it plays out is the matchups up front. You guys have a, a stellar defensive front with some standouts on that line. Obviously, uh, they've had a, a very good deep, uh, offensive unit uh, from a line perspective. Um, how do you see that matchup playing out, and how important will it be for you guys to win the battle in the trenches? I think, I think, like, like I said, I think if we can, if we can, you know, recreate a line of scrimmage in the run game, and like I said, press the pocket in the passing game, it, it, it gives us a good chance of, of, of containing them offensively. Because some of the things you do, you just can't stop them offensively. You just got to try. But uh, I think our front will be, you know. Excited for the matchup, like I've been telling them the, the, the past two weeks. I think for the last, you know, five weeks, this this has been one of the best offensive line, lines in our conference. The way those guys come on, work up, and um, and just the power, the strength that they have, man, it's gonna be a good challenge for us up front. And I'm I'm excited to see what our guys can do against those guys. Coach, uh, last question for me. Obviously, you guys have. Uh, Grambling State this week, who is in the hunt. Uh, theoretically, they uh, control their own destiny if they went out. Alabama and m following. Uh, same thing with them. Not that you're looking ahead or looking past your opponent, but uh, does your team gain any type of edge uh, from these type of matchups, playing teams that are still uh, in contention and having the opportunity to you know, kind of play sport, or so to speak? Uh, the edge. I don't think so. I think every week is a challenge. is a very is a very difficult challenge for us. But I think we just go out and prepare like we've been doing against every opponent. Um, at the end of the day, I think we do for one of these big time games. If that's what you're asking, and and so we just got to go out and prepare and work hard and, and put ourselves in position to win and don't do nothing to to limit ourselves or hurt ourselves. And I and. And if we can do that, I think we put our chair, ourselves in a, a good chance and, a, and put ourselves in a good situation to, to be victorious in one of these games, these, these big games. And welcome back. We're live here at the campus of Mississippi Valley State, where the Delta Delta Mets, down by two. Never said get the basketball to open up the third quarter play, 34-32 score. Takes on the left wing, left wing, to Guapo. Burpo, here's a shot inside. Offensive foul call. Foul call on uh, Burpo. And that is they would get the basketball. I want to say hello to Mr. Yarbrough, who is here in attendance tonight. Always supporting Mr. City Dallas State Sports. Here's Smith, left wing, to Aaron Smith. Final screen by Lila Smith. Shot is up. No good. Ball comes off. Lila with the shot inside of Bless. No. Rebound. Murray State on the board with Gibson. 9.8 to play. Back on the first Turley. Turley left side to Burpo. Burpo back up to Turley. In the paint to Hawthorne. Fall away shot over split to two. Scored for Hawthorne. Hawthorne has eight points in the ballgame. And a four point lead. So the Lady Racers gets Cotton down the floor on the point. Cotton brings it right side of the floor. Back out top of Smith, left side of Cotton. Picked up by Curley. Foul call. And that foul is called on Lacey Hawthorne. Hawthorne's foul. She has, she has three fouls on her. She's probably going to check out the basketball game. Three fouls at the 8 minute 57 second mark. Long to the end. Out top of Dickpin, who's been tough. Dickpin is that the glass side of the No. Rebound by Nyla Smith. Trying to get inside. It's a nice jump shot in the face. Score it. For Rags. Rags to the bucket. 
And you got to stay down by two, 36 34. Charlie with a straightaway three. No good. Rebound by Smith. Put the floor left to right, Aaron Smith. And you want to have the ball stolen by Turley. Want to stay back on the floor with all the numbers. Shot is up. No good. Foul fall on Cotton. Cotton's the foul. Picks the best second foul. Now let's take the shot in the first half. 39.4%. Maybe he raised the shot. 35% hitting Cliff of 34. Dallas State hit 13 of 33. That was four pins from the foul line. Got to improve his head. Later races five of seven from the foul line. First three throws up. Rolls off the rim. Stepped there for a second and dropped off the outside of the key. Red throws the foul line. She has one more. She has five points in the ball game. Three throws up. Spins off. Rebound. Mississippi Valley on the board with Calvin Ray. Long pass up the foot. And Myers Smith could not catch your turnover. Here comes early. Long pass up the floor. And later racers couldn't catch it down. There Max. You couldn't catch it. Got to hit the ball. And a walking violation coming up. And that's going to bring Coach Ashley Walker Johnson to her feet. She's in the third season here at Valley State. Uh, Texas Westland Grant. Assisted by Roger Bush and Alex Miller from the next second season. That'll work at Myla Smith out checking in. Is uh, taking that Robinson, checking out his Myla Smith. Robinson, new addition to the team. 5'10 freshman from Mitch Tennessee. Charlie out top. Charlie throws it on the left wing. The, the jump shot by Gibson rolls up the rim. Rebound. Kick pin. On the push, big fan front court. Big fan working one on one. Put it inside, can't go inside. Leaves the ball outside the cotton. Cotton calls the play. She wants to run on the left wing. 17 seconds. Shot trying to see it. Cotton for cotton. Cotton can't get anything going on the play. Let me shoot this one. She has six points in the ball game from Wilmington, North Carolina. Back on the floor. Long range jump shot. No good by Gibson for. Murray State, Dallas State is up by one, 37-36. A spin move. Got it lost it. Outside to Aaron Smith, the three. No good. Ball knocked outside. Rash with it. Rash knocked the ball outside. Back into the front court. Right side. May. Out top, Turley. Shoulder stops, left wing. Down on the post. Back to the basket. Matt. Three-point jumper by Mays. No good. Got to take the rebound on the push down the floor. Stop on the basket. Ball triples in. Count it for Rash. I'm a Rash from Louisville, Mississippi. A transfer two from East Chester Community College. Dallas up by three. 39, 36, 6, 38 to put in the third. Back wing, Charlie for three. No good. Off the rim. Shot puts back up there on that rebound by Cecilia Matt for Macros foul. That foul was called on Aaron Smith. Gets with the foul. She has three. Three fouls on her. Three point lead. Checking out. The ball is Michelle Dickton. And checking in is Angelica Jarkus. First free throw is up. No good. By Mack. Mack gets another shot. Matt for Murray State Racers. She's a six foot senior from Albany, Georgia. She gets another shot. Pick it up. And it's here. One of two for Matt. Matt has six points in the ball game. And Bella still gets the basketball. Rags with the inbound up all the cards. Cotton bounces up the floor across the timeline and going to Mr. Goat's own man defense. And a screen skips. Leaves it out top. Springs the right side of the floor. New pin volume for Valley State is Nyla Reedy. And uh, Robinson with the shot. Also, they have to no good. Fight for the basketball. Races on the board. Grepo. Franco with Charlie. Charlie. Leaves it outside for Gibson. This is going to be a Foul call on Murray State. 
Gibson was a foul. If y'all had so that Gibson reached in to foul or Gibson picked the rest of the foul too. Six go one to play. Third quarter. Rebounding in the first half. Eighteen rebounds for Murray State. Dallas State. I rebounded them. Twenty five eighteen. Edge up seven, and Valley's going to turn the ball over. Scott's going to turn that ball over. Kind of missed double that ball a little bit. And Valley State had ten turnovers in the first half. Murray State had nine in the first half. Valley State had no blocks. Murray State had five blocks. The two-point ball game, 39-37. Racing the ball. He was a three-point attempt. Counting for Alexis Greppo. She has two threes in the ball game. She has eight points on the night. One point lead by Murray State. In the corner. Three point shot spins off by Rita. Ball is knocked around. And Murray State with the ball. Here's Charlie trying to rape up the floor. He leaves the left side. Left side of the floor to Mays. Mays to Charlie. Called the flash shot by Reddy. And it's going to water bounce. by the grad student from North Little Rock, Arkansas. Checking out for Valley State is Diamond Rag. He has Charlie on the left wing. Charlie shoots over the thick pin. It is good. Well, she, she's real active on the floor. And she has a three-point bucket. Back on the floor, Valley is going to miss the shot, but a push to the foul would be called on Sadie Hill. Negative benefits to the foul line for a couple of free throws. Lady Hill with the foul. She has three. Lady Hill has three. Lisa Hawthorne has three. And uh, Macy Gibson has three for Murray State. Got her down by four. Free throws up. No good. So 43 39 score. Murray State is up. He can better cut it to a three point ball game. Reading has uh, one more shot. Takes that time, shot is up, and it's, she drops it in. Nice, very nice touch on the second one. She has one point in the bargain, does the grad student. 43 40 score. It's Mays. Mays sends it out top. Left hand dribble. Using the screen, pulls up from right elbow, and it's good. Boy, she can shoot that ball off the dribble. Turner with another bucket. And Valley State will pass for and will receive a timeout. The five point ball game, 45 to 40. Murray State leading. This step of time, she'll be coming back. 45 40 score, 4 4 to play in uh, the third quarter here on the campus of Valley State. We'll break and come back and stay with us. Trailing by 5, 45-40. We've had some back and forth going here. Valley City shooting from the outside, 38.1%. And the Lady Racers are shooting 36%. It is 16 of, of 44 on the night. Valley State, 16 of 42 on the night. Valley State, 14 turnovers. Lady Racers, 11 turnovers. Rebound in Valley State with 33 rebounds. And uh, Murray State with 23 rebounds. Robson throws it in to six pins. who's back on the floor. Big thing to Cotton. Cotton picked up by Sadie Hill. Really trying to get inside. Lost the ball. Back door. Aaron Smith shot up. Missed the shot. Puts it back up, though, on the missed shot. 
<laughs> and Delica Jarkas correction with that bracket. Jarkas has six points in the ball game. Three point lead. Uh, Murray State, Shady Hill, picked up by Cardi, in the arm to free us there. Trying to get inside. Drepo, he's a shot outside. So a maze for three, and it's good. Maze has three three, three point buckets in the bucket. And a six point lead. 48, 42, 350 for the play. Ends it out top. 15, 15, stands, 15. Shot off the backboard. Nice shot by six man. She is a player. And a four point ball game. Katie Hill trying to get inside. Long right side, jump catch. Here's a shot outside to Katie Hill. It's definitely no good, and a foul is called. Oh, Mississippi Valley State. Six in with that foul. In a tough area. Six in with that first foul. Three shots coming up. Grant is 11 points in the ball game for Valley State. Nine points for Shelly Sixteen, four for Aaron Smith. Two points for Azaria Howard. Okay, it's not a shooting foul. Unless Burpo would inbound the basketball. Nyla Smith would check in for Mississippi Valley. They've had four times in the ball game. He just changed it three times. According to our last stat, <laughs> there's a media timeout on the floor with three minutes, 30 seconds left to play. In the third quarter, 48 to 44. 48 44 scores. We'll break and we come back. This is the Valley Basketball on the Chief Wood Live Radio. Check out the ball game. Check it in for Valley State and, and do a skit. The 5 6 freshman from Birmingham, Alabama. Ronnie Williams, the sophomore, would check up the floor with the dribble. Coming across the timeline. You get the right hand dribble, send it for a fast to Milo Smith. Smith holds the ball, looking for half, gets it in the form of rags. Down inside. Turn around, jump shot. Won't go by Jarkers. And that ball is knocked out of bounds. Good attempt by Dallas to try to get that ball on on that missed shot. And it's going to run a bound. Here comes Curly back up the floor for Murray State. That's out Burpo. Sends it out high to Worley. Here's a jump shot. Scored for Curly. Yeah, Turley and Worley. Turley is going to fire. Worley is going to 12. Another bucket for her. Six point ball game now. Got it. Walking that ball in the front court. Here's Darkers. Right side. Running away. Walk with the basketball. You got to say, Chile, this is not a bad crowd here. The women basketball on a Wednesday night. 
We hear more basketball tomorrow night on G with Live Radio. We'll broadcast uh, 87.9 in Greenwood, 89.3 in Greenwood, also online at www.gwithlive.com. Also, streaming through the telephone anywhere in the country at 641 741 0818. Here's a three point attempt by Jitra Worley. is good. Nine point ball game again. Give the three, 44, 203 to play. In the third quarter, kick ball. So I'm going to say who just out in their blue uniform. The colors are blue and gold. That will stay in the home white. That's what they'll with the ball. Face down right back. Ball to the traffic. And to the hands of Smith, the right to Rags. Rags for two. Rags has 13 points in the ball game. I thought more than that. And the turn of the jump shot, no good. Ball is going to be tipped and chased down by Teddy Hill. That name is so familiar. Here's a three-point jumper in the right corner, no good. Here's the, here's the coming the third shot. The third shot at that basket by Morris State, and the foul is going to be called on Ronnie Williams. She has two. And that's going to get Murray Sticks to the foul line to Kia Mack with your free throws. 53 46 school with a minute, 33 left to play. Third quarter free throws up, the rotation is good. He gets another throw. Gets it back again. The 54 46 goal with a minute, 31 place, third quarter. Free throws up, too strong. Rebound, misses to the valley. But to push the ball up the floor. Front coach tip, tip inside, had it blocked. Two with the knife, move inside, had the ball tucked on the side for a minute. And she let it go. It was blocked out of bound by Mack. Mack stands six feet tall. In the right corner, Valley has it to basketball. Stopping a dribble outside is Kiff. Now let's say with 15 seconds to shoot. Here's Cotton. Found a screen. Cotton, the three point jumper. Short. And a fight for the basketball. She got her hands on it. It's a jump ball. Possession arrow. It gets a double X. Catch Dallas State. And the Leveling Tigers right here Saturday. Keep up time set for 1 p.m. Leveling coming to town. Land where? Leveling is wing. Here's Cotton for Valley State. Down inside. Up and under. Shot up. So good. Nice move by Rags. And uh, here comes Murray State back at the floor. With the ball. Turley trying to get inside. Turley outside. Faded here for the shot. No good. Foul call. Push off, I believe, on Jensen Worley. And it was to get to the basketball to get the rebound. She got the rebound, but she also would get the foul. Five team fouls. Every shoot free throws. Got to shoot free throws. Five team fouls. Come on. Make this walk down. Five team fouls. The 54 46 score with 37.1 seconds left to play as we see Coach Willard Cotton. Assistant head coach and quarterback coach here. And got to stay back at home. <laughs> to the foul line is Andrea Stick. Didn't have no points in the ballgame. The 5 6 freshman from Birmingham, Alabama. As two fingers picked together on the right hand. First shot is up in his gear. Takes it back. Toes the foul line. 
He goes up, no good. Made one and missed one. Got down the floor. Drag. Direction, where state. And a foul call. That foul was called on Andrew Pitt. Foul on the shot. Back to the foul line. There's a six foot senior, Mack. Last trip that she made when she missed one. The 54 47 score. Seven point ball game, free throws up. Eight point ball game, count that free throw. The kid Mack from Albany, Georgia. The high school at Albany Tech. Checking out the Valley City is Aaron Smith. Here's a free throw. No good. Rebound, Mississippi Valley. Here comes Cotton at the floor. Cotton, trying to get inside, and she's fouled. So she can play. She can play for real. Start caught on Sadie Hill. He only has four fouls on her. That was calling a shot. Opportunity to save some points off this eight point lead. So 55. Point them score free throws up. Now a seven point lead. That first free throw was good. That Cotton. Cotton gets another free throw. Cotton has a second free throw up in the end, too. She has eight points in the bar game. One trip to the foul line made both free throws. And checking in is Victoria Swinton, the 5'9 junior. Checking in. From Deerfield Beach, Florida, the Murray State. Twelve seconds to play. Six point ball game. It is Mays for three. No good. Shot put back up. Count that one for Mac. God, think it's a rebound. Shot with the buzzer. It's short. That's going to bring the third quarter to a close. And Murray State leading to Delta Delta by eight. 57 49. Good break, and we come back to the fourth and final quarter break. This is Valley Basketball on G Wood Live Radio. Stay with us. Back to the fourth and final quarter. Final quarter, again, set to get underway. Dallas State through three quarters, shooting 38%, hitting 19 of 50 shots. And service State shooting 35%, hitting 20 of 56 shots. Murray State, the basketball, open up the fourth quarter, play first by 8, 57-49. Here's Curley, picked up that right away. She picked that dribble up. Leave it outside. Outside to triple. Ripper on the dribble, picked up by Smith. Two in pass to Turley with the shot and a foul. Foul call on Ronnie Wing. She's the hard to stick with. That's the case. That foul is called on Ronnie Williams. He said first person up. Is the first free throw by Turley is good. She's the best player on the team, the Murray State. Macy Turley. She's a five six sophomore from Japan at she's from Murray, Kentucky. The second one is a bit good too. Here's 
Ten point lead. Fifty nine to forty nine. Nurse did it. Run away from some battery with the ball. Loose ball on the floor. Turnover. Front court Mays for Murray State. Mays. Send the ball back out to the point guard. Turley. Turley on the right wing. The sophomore. To Burpo. To Mays. To Burpo. Stopping and starting. Burpo. Left side. Turley for the three point shot. No good. Ball chased down by Ronnie Williams of Valley State. Gonna push that ball up the floor. He's the left side. Here's the shot by Smith. No good. And the ball is going to be out of bounds. That time, uh, Macy Gibson, the 6'1 red shirt freshman from Boonville, Kentucky couldn't get to the ball and get out of bounds. So the other get the basketball. Baseline right side of the backboard. Down by 10. Bob's it in to 16. 16 for shot and a punch for block. The crowd wants the foul. Three point lead. The crowd wanted traveling or something on that. 59 49. Murray State leading. Kicks it back right side. Eight seconds to shoot. Here's Turley. Turley to Maze. This ball stolen by Randy Williams. Williams. Hit to the basket hard. And blocking foul call. Hey, those are good defense by Ryan Williams. That foul was called on Lex May. She has two. Eight to play. Fourth quarter. We're not used to calling one ball game a night. We're used to calling two ball games a night. We want another ball game, but it got to with you tomorrow night. 59 49 score. Free throws that rolls in. Ronnie Williams. Two of three at the foul line. Brock Moore for Mixed in the fifth. Free throws up. Got it. There's three point. Eight point ball game. It's made. Made to Turley. Turley. Takes it outside. Three point shot. Gibson. Count here. The sixth one, Red Shirts Prickly can shoot. Here's Aaron Smith of Dallas State trying to answer back. Shot won't go. Rebound. Here's uh, Hoffman back up the floor. Hoffman across the floor. Here's Turley. Picked up by Aaron Smith. Poor guard going to bring that ball out. But they have some good shoes on the floor. So 62 51 score. The largest lead by Murray State. 11 points. And there's a foul on the floor. 62-51. That foul was called on the valley. And Jessica Jarkus Jarkus is a foul. And Robinson will check in for the Dallas State. Robinson in. And looks like Ward is in. Sidney Ward is in. Taylor Robinson is in for the Dallas State. We popped the one inside, got it. Popped on the ninth move. And there's a timeout charge to Mississippi Valley. Coach Ashley Walker will call a timeout. Largely lead of the night, the seventh one of the place, the 13th point lead. 64 to 51. Full timeout, we step aside too. You're listening to. Valley Basketball on G. Wood Live Radio. Stay with us. You're coming right back. Y'all, and now it's all to the next one. Yes, we get the power of the Bulldog. That's a new Albany Bulldog. Come to Bulldog Stadium in Greenwood, Mississippi, on the campus of Greenwood High School. You heard me right. It's round two of the state 4A playoffs with the Greenwood Bulldogs. Oh, the new Albany Bulldogs at 7 o'clock p.m. this Friday night. If you can't make it to Greenwood, you're certainly you can listen to all of the live play by play action on 103.3 FM, the Bulldog Court Network, with Lee Paul, with it, it's a inside eye report with Jonathan Hopkins. It's the Bulldogs up to Albany High School. It's your Greenwood High School. Bulldogs this Friday night, second round of 4A play 
y'all. You make it your business, your people. Seven minutes, 20 seconds to play in the game. See on the campus of Mississippi Valley State. Got to be one of the, if not the best looking arena in the swag. Went from last, one of the best. I want to thank Mr. Jason. Mr. Jason, who is assistant SID. Well, I see assistant SID. Matter of fact, he's in that role right now. Doing a fine job. Got our passes for the ball game Saturday. Against Grambling State University. 1 p.m. kickoff. Catch the game right here on g Live Radio. The Lady Racers are shooting 37% from the outside, hitting 22 of 59, 11 of 35 from the three-point line. They made 11 threes. 11 of 35. They shoot a lot of threes. And they get 9 of 15 from the free-throw line. Valley State, 10 of 19 from the free-throw line, but 3 of 15 from the three-point line. They're hitting, again, 11 of 35 from the three-point line. That's 33 points right there. Half of their points have come on three. They have six to four. Valley, get one of them leading Valley by 13 points here. Valley State has out-rebounded them, but they're closing that gap. Valley State with 40 rebounds. And Murray State with 36 rebounds. Is uh, running Williams inside the left, no good. This shot by Valley State rebound by the races. Lady races, front court. Outside, Curley. Curley bags away from Ronnie Williams. Curley sends the left side of the floor. Made outside, Burpole. Burpole, Curley down inside, off going, off on to height advantage, shoots the ball up. And no good, though. Got to take the rebound. Shut that ball over the short of rag. Down inside, Robinson. Lost it. Robinson fighting to get it back to Doug. And Rags with it. In the cross the floor. In the corner for Aaron Smith with three. Got it. Smith shot it down for three. He has two, three. Ten point ball game. Here's Turley with the jump shot for three. No. Rebound, Dallas State. Did the ward of the floor. One is Williams. Williams. Going to come back out. He's going to send Ward down in the right corner. Got to take cut it to an eight point ball. Four or seven. Down by 10. Six all to the plate. Kick ball on Alexis Burpo. The team here. Has one senior mismatch. Talking about Murray State. Got it the ball. Bump eight. Outside. Barry Smith. The three. And it's good again. Smith <laughs> has three threes in the game. Got it down by seven. A loose ball. Battle to steal, blocking foul call on Alexis Grepo. Well, with that three point shot, you're never out of a basketball game. And you've got to throw it at the basketball. Is it a full timeout or is it a short timeout? It's a short time out, so we'll keep it right here. Again, go back over the stat for the bargain. Just a moment ago, it was a 13-point lead, 6-4, to 4, 51. Right now, it is a 7-point lead, 6-4, to 4, 57, with 5 minutes and 40 seconds left to play in the game. Murray State has 17 points in the paint. Got to say 20 points in the paint. All turnovers, Murray State, 13 points. Got to say 9 points. Second chance comes Murray State 11, Valley State 7. Last break, Murray State 3, Valley 9. Off the bench, Valley State with a two point edge, 11 to 9. Off the bench points. 
Valerie gets the basketball in the backcourt on the first side in front of the high dollar seat. Get the ball, full side, Aaron Smith. Smith, the three point jump again. No good. Rebound, uh, Womack. Well, Hawthorne, correction. Hawthorne, gets it right down the floor, jump shot by Mays, no good. But there's a put back. That's a good. Hawthorne with the record, she had 12. Here's Cotton. Down inside, 16. Off the handle inside. Just a shot up, no good. Rebound grab by Mack. The 66, 67 score. Another easy basket by Hawthorne. That was a steal. Back to the 11 point ball game. 6 to 8, 57 to 4, 48 to play. Here's a shot by Cotton for 3. Got it. Here's a 3 point shot again. Cotton with a 3 point back there. She has three freezes in the bargain. She has 11 points on the night. 68 60 to four and a half to play. Loose ball on the floor, fight for the basketball, foul, oh, foul call. That foul is called on Morris State. I think that's Charlie. No, it's going to be amazed with that foul. Lex Mays, L E X Mays foul. Mays has three. And going to get them to his place within the ball game. Chipping in the Valley State is Rag. Rag will check in. And Mitch will check out with the hard hand. Ryder Williams, back on the floor. Going down the stretch. 60, 60, 422 to play. Now in the back dribble. Cod. Cod had it stripped and stolen. Front court. Mate. Stop the dribble. Dribble. The Turley. Turley. Kicked up on the outside. By Ward. Turley on the left wing with the dribble. Looking down inside. Out high. Mate. Mate with the dribble to Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Nine seconds to shoot. Outside Turley. Three seconds to shoot. Two seconds to shoot. One second to shoot. That is up. Shaka is going to expire. This is the first time we've seen the shot clock expire on anything. Now, it was better to stay with that defense. And Valerie gets the basketball down by eight. 68, 60 with 340 left to play. And here comes uh, Ronnie Williams getting the instructions from Coach Ashton Walker. With the right hand dribble. Floating to the left side. Now back to the right side on the dribble. Outside. Ward's trying to get inside to the rack. She puts it up for two. Score for Sydney Ward. Ward with a, a second bracket. And the ball is out of bounds. Good defense. As Ronnie Williams tried to save it. She went about three goals up to the bridge to try to get covered on the left baseline. Shelly Sixteen would check in for Valley State. Ready to check out. Morris still about the ball, baseline right side. And we have a foul call on Mays. Uh, Murray State. She has four fouls on her. She played with three for a while. She had one in the first half. She has three in the second half. Got to stay down by 68, 62, 305 to play in the game. Ronnie Williams stops left side to Cotton. Cotton with a three point shot. No. Ball knocked up. Rebound. Murray State. Out on across the timeline. Stops his dribble. Pick up, hands it to Turley. Turley. Picked up on the outside. By Cotton. Turley with the changeover. Shoots a three point jumper. No good. Rebound. Hot going for two. There's an offensive board again. Eight point ball game. Seven to the sixty two. Cotton spins on Turley. Outside sitting is Ward. Down inside. Is Rag with the record score. For a diamond rag. 
back to a six point ball game, 17 to 6 to 4. Down inside Hawthorne. He's triple team. Hawthorne to Max. Jump shot. No good. Rebound. Dallas State. Two on two. Rag. Spin move. Shot is up. Fight for the basketball. Shorts. Back out. Stop the card. Trying face land. Drops inside. Kick out. In the corner. Back out top. Running. Williams. Minute 38 to play. Battle down by six. Running Williams. Kick out the card. For the shot. No good. Shot clock has fired. Didn't get a good set that time. Mason Gibson was checking to the ball game for Murray State. Good ball game tonight. Seven tiers, six to four to score. Murray State going to walk their ball up the floor from left to right. Take a run from clock. You're two to minute 14 to play in the game. Inside, Turley, shot is up, no, rebound. Put it right back for an end by Hawthorne for the score. Back down the floor, one is Williams, inside, 15 for two. Got a quick flick at the time, to Dallas State. Six-point ball game, 72-66. Mays on the dribble. Mays picked up outside by Skip. 16 to shoot. 34 to play. Foul call on Ronnie Williams. Oh, Dallas State right back here on Monday night, 6 p.m. They'll take on Austin P. With the basketball on top. Turles. 16 to shoot. Turles. Another foul call on Ronnie Williams. That's the fourth one. Fourth team foul. And Ronnie Williams has fouled out, but here, it's up out tonight. Checking Turles. Stick around for the post game. Stack. Staff recap the ball game for you. 25.9 seconds to play. Dallas State down by 672-66. He's made in the corner. Major's foul once, now foul twice, the foul will be called. And Murray Stiff gets the foul and the shoot free throws. In the war, the dead foul, she has two. And they're the shooting free throws. Dallas State. With 23.4 seconds to play. Mays has two free throws coming up. Lex Mays, a 5'7 sophomore from Mayfield, Kentucky. And here's the free throw that spins off. Get the back. Found the basket. Push out is up. No good. Dallas hit the ball. Here comes Aaron Smith down the floor. Smith to Cotton. Got to get a shot off. And a timeout charge. The Mississippi Valley. How much time? How long? Four? So four timeout. With the score. Seven to two. Morris State. 66, Mississippi Valley. And we step aside and we come back for the final 15.7 to play in the contest. This is Valley Basketball on Two Wood Live Radio.
72, 66 score. Dallas State Trillish. And Valerie gets the basketball in the front court near side between the scores table and Valerie's bench. And Drew is still with him down the ball. She scraps it and scramble out of the box. Tom thinks left side of the floor. Tags up by Ward, blocked by Hawthorne. That was good defense that time. Anytime you can, can time the shot and block the shot on the perimeter like that, you're focused. Still with inbound on the other side of the floor. Then jump shot by Cotton. No good. Rebound by Gibson, but the ball is turned over. Is Ward no good? That's going to end the basketball game. There's a Murray State winning this ball game by six points over Mississippi Valley. And it was a good ball game. 72 to 66. 72 66. The final score. He will step aside, come back for final stat. This is Mississippi Valley basketball on G Wood Live. Radio. Stay with us. We're coming back. I am the Reaches Media. I'm a proud sponsor of Greenwood Football. Go on for four dogs. Celebrate your children. Celebrate the successes of those who are coming to school. Uh, for one example, I was over at the Floor County High School. They were having their nine week awards program. And I noticed a pattern of the students who were coming on stage. They had students who had made the superintendent's list, the principal's list, and the honor roll list. And the one thing that was common or uh, consistent throughout those students who were earning those awards, they were also receiving purchase attendance certificates. So parents, it, it is very important that we make sure that our kids come to school. We will celebrate them at the schools and in the district, but also just celebrating them at home and in the community. Hi, this is the Chatterbox, the radio voice for the Texas Southern Fighting Tigers. Whenever I'm in Greenwood or anywhere close, I have to go to the Crystal Grill to get the best food in the South. Better yet, the Delta. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the fourth quarter. Fourth down, no timeouts. What do you do? You go to the only crew that makes it happen. I'm talking about the go-to crew, the MVPs of the community. Also, thank you for supporting GWoodLive.com. Streaming, streaming, and more streaming. Top quality video, GWoodLive.com. But don't forget the G-Live. Hi, I'm Gerald McBrain. Is there anything you wouldn't do to live longer or feel better? Make a few simple changes in your lifestyle and you do it can save your life? Take cholesterol. A high blood cholesterol level can cause strokes and serious heart disease. But exercise and simple changes in your diet can reduce cholesterol and make you feel better. For your free booklet, visit the Will Rogers Institute at WRInstitute.org or call toll free 877-957-7575 and find us on Facebook and Twitter. The Will Rogers Institute since 1936. The Crystal Grill has been a dining tradition in the Delta for more than 50 years. This unusual restaurant is located downtown Greenwood in a building which is listed in the historic residence. Come join us for a dining experience that begins with a mind boggling lunch menu of home cooked meats and fresh vegetables. It ends with a dinner selection that includes everything from fresh seafood and short cuts of beef. Our goal is to continue to provide good food at reasonable prices. Open two days to Sunday, 10 30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call this number 453 650, or you can pick it up at 423 Calvin Avenue in Springwood. Carlos, for the Will Rogers Institute, eat all you want and lose weight. At some point, everybody wants to lose a few pounds. But clothes like me are often just too good to be true. So be careful what you eat the diet. Before you start a weight loss plan, Please talk to your doctor and do your homework. For your free book, this is the Will Rogers Institute at WRInstitute.org. Or call toll free 877 957 7575. And find us on Facebook and Twitter. And welcome back. On the score, Murray State, Speed of Valley State, 72 to 66. You run back from schools for you, top schools for you. Uh, Macy Terry, the point guard, scored 18 points, and she had seven assists for the 
Lady Racers, 18 points also for Lacey Hawthorne, 9 points for Takiya Mack, 10 for Macy Gibson, 6 for Alexis Burpo. Burpo had 6 rebounds, and Lacey Hawthorne had 12 rebounds in 27 minutes of play for a total, again, 72 points. They shot 37.7% from the floor, 28.2% from the three-point line, hitting 11 of 39, and 9 of 17 from the free throw line. It in 52 percent of the state out rebounded the lady racing by score by a margin of 48 to 44 for the state it was uh, diamond rags with 11 points five points for Shelly 16 four for ayana cotton five points for Sydney ward four for Ronnie williams two for angelica darkers two also for natalie reedy two for andrea andrea stick and five for azaria howard for a total of 66 points. In the paint, that is State by 1, 26 to 25 in the paint. All turnovers, 13 to 11, where the State, second chance point, 17 to 7, where the State won that. On the second chance point, that means they got that offensive board. And the fast break points, 3 for Murray State, and for Dallas State. Off the bench is Dallas State to the 4.8, 13 to 9. Yeah, four times in the ball game, lead change to five times. The Lady Racers defeated Dallas again tonight by a score of 72 to 66. We want to thank uh, you all for listening. That's going to do it for this broadcast. I'm Lee Hall reminding you if you play the sport or if you like the sport, for the kids that see real good sport, good night. Thanks for listening. Tune in again tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, for Greenwood High School Board on Basketball on the Chief Wood Live. Radio. Serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network.